So recently, I made a video catching up on that news about Jeffrey Wright and Jonah Hill being casted as Commissioner Gordon and either the Riddler or Penguin for Jonah Hill for the Batman uh, coming up in 2021. But news just broke, I think it was yesterday, that Zoe Kravitz is going to be Catwoman for this film. It's confirmed. It's not an in talks for. It's not an either or situation. It's confirmed. Zoe Kravitz has this role. Now, here's the thing. I am not a huge fan of Zoe Kravitz. And as you know, um, she's the stepdaughter of Jason Momoa, right? Uh, Jason Momoa married her mother. Uh, therefore, he's in her family. And he actually congratulated her on this, seeing as he is Aquaman and she's joining the DCEU. Or like DCEU Lite. Still don't know the clarification on this Reeves movie and where it's going to be at in this DC universe. I'm making a video about that. Um, it'll be out soon ish but anyway um but yeah after reading up on zoe kravitz being casted and who else was considered for the role and seeing jason momoa say that you know congratulations blah 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 i just don't know if this is the right choice for the role and here's why i think that zoe kravitz is really nice i think that she's lovely i think that she has a place in hollywood but i just don't know if it's for a big role like Catwoman. A lot of people wanted Janelle Monet. She was uh, rumored for Black Canary. Then she was rumored for this. And she lost both of those roles. Um, I thought that she was a pretty, pretty okay choice. Uh, the shortlist also included Zazie Beetz, who I believe might show up in Deadpool 3 now that we know what's happening. I might make a video about that. Not sure yet. Uh, Isa Gonzalez, right, from Baby Driver. She was considered. Um, and uh, Alyssa uh, Vikander, right, was also uh, Alicia Alicia Vikander was also considered for the role. I just feel like all of those actresses haven't not only don't have not only haven't had a chance to stand out in a role, but also might fit this role better as someone who's wiping the slate clean. Now, I think that Zoe Kravitz has the chance to blow my mind. I don't have a doubt about it. I think that she I'm open to it. I think that she, you know, it's a good role for any actress that's not, you know, the typical actress they would choose for Catwoman. So I, I like the idea of changing it up. I'm not opposed to it at all. So it's not about race. But I do think that other actresses deserve the chance to fit in this role. Because here's the thing. Zoe Kravitz has showed up in a lot of major franchises, including Fantastic Beasts, X-Men, the Divergent series, and every Big Little Lies. And every single time I've seen her on screen... Um, the first time I saw her in a major role was X-Men First Class. She's just not impressive. I mean, I don't find her to be a mind-blowing performance. I don't think she's anything, you know, I know, I don't think she's the secret sauce to any recipe when it comes to a film that I've seen. And so I feel like she might slip through the cracks here. And I think the real issue is, is that they didn't want anybody that would counteract Pattinson. And they also might have done Jason Momoa a favor by casting her. That's just my thoughts because it just seems kind of like that. I feel like um, Isa Gonzalez, Isa Gonzalez from Baby Driver. I, I, know, I never know how to pronounce her name. But anyway, uh, Miss Gonzalez from Baby Driver. I thought she was a better choice in my opinion because I feel like she deserves the chance to take on a big role. Whereas we've already kind of seen Zoe Kravitz do that. And she hasn't really like in every major, well, not everyone, but a lot of major franchises. And she still hasn't like reached a, a point where I've been like blown away by her. So, and I think that just she might not be the best choice i like the look of her i like her look i think that she's you know an interesting choice um physically for catwoman because she just has such great features her hair like she's very um beautiful for the role and, and catwoman's always been like the femme fatale that attracts batman so i think that'll be fun and i think that she'll have fun doing that but again i just don't know if she's impressive enough for me to like be sold on it i know that seems kind of wrong i know it seems kind of terrible but hey, I mean, this is a business, um, and so I'm looking at it from that kind of perspective. I just think it's just weird. It's just not the casting I would have gone with. But you know what? I think that 50-50, it's doing pretty good. I mean, I polled everybody on my Instagram link down below, and 89% think that it's a great choice. So I think people are ready for this type of Catwoman, and I hope, I really hope, I hope that this happens, but I hope that Zoe Kravitz can deliver, because if she can't, it'll just prove all the people who don't like this casting right. 
Um, but of course, this is not the first time that Catwoman has been race bent, right? It's not really race bending the character at all because of Eartha Kitt's version of Catwoman, Halle Berry. We all know that the Halle Berry movie was terrible, but hey, it was still, you know, Catwoman was still race bent in that film, and that wasn't the first time it happened, right? It happened with Eartha Kitt, and she was a good Catwoman. So I can see why Matt Reeves didn't feel weird about doing this and same with commissioner gordon i feel like the reason why it works for for gordon is because he's just been done so many times that it makes sense to do something different or else you're never gonna make a batman movie in the future different at all right i mean they have to be casted differently another problem that i have though with this is that i feel like a latina actress would have been a better choice that's just my opinion like a strong latina actress like of that descent i feel like that fits Catwoman more and I feel like you know I feel like that there's so many race bending going on in the DC divisions but it's only just for for African-American descent right or or I guess I don't know I guess she's like is she full African-American or does she have some kind of other descent I'm not really sure I'm not a huge fan of Zoe Kravitz so I don't really know her background um but it just seems like they're going for all you know African-American type actors or somewhere similar to that I mean, look at Black Canary, Commissioner Gordon, uh, Catwoman, uh, I feel like the, uh, Dead uh, Deadshot, right? I mean, there's no, like, other races happening here. I mean, there's no Asian talent considered. Let, you know, like, Hispanic talent's been very considered in the past, but I feel like it could still show up here. It's just weird to me, like, they're only doing one race. I feel like that is kind of, like, avoiding the uh, the issue of, of um, casting different... Um, different descents and different races into film i don't feel like it's genuine when they do that so i don't know it's just weird but i know that i I shouldn't blame zoe kravitz for that and i'm not blaming her for that but i'm blaming dc and warner brothers overall for doing that and so i just think it's weird um again it's it's weird i don't know it's just a different casting it caught me off guard but again i'm open to her changing my mind i think this is a great idea to race bend the character well i guess not race bend because she's already been black before but you know what i mean like to change it up and not do a typical catwoman actress i think that's a good idea um and i think that you know i'm excited i'm excited to see what she can do maybe she will be impressive in this role maybe she will uh really really um you know take shape as an actress you know in such a complex role for catwoman um i can see where they're going with it but what do you guys think of zoe kravitz being casted into this role do you like it do you not like it do you agree with some of the points that i made here in this video uh so don't forget to share those comments down below like favorite and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye